I have the flowers inside of it. Today I am processing one of my favorite herbs, which is cat mint. We all know the value of cat mint. It's so beneficial for children, especially for coughs and cold. And this is one of my go-to herbs for coughs and colds for my children. So I am processing it today. I dry them. And I also grow a lot of it in my garden. And uh, all my jars are lined up here. And I'm using the shears. And all I do is I cut the bottom part of the cat mint off because the stem's a little bit hard. And then I start cutting from here, from the soft part. And I cut very finely because I want the stem as well as the leaves and the flowers. So I just use my very sharp shears and I cut and cut until I have this nice um, bunch of nice leaves and stems cut up finely and this is what I do I'll give you a better look so this is what it looks like once it's all cut up and now I have my jar and I just basically just put it in the jar I put as much as the jar can hold and the jar really holds a lot I just stuff it in there and you just keep pressing and pressing until the jar is full and cat mint is a great mint to use like when you have a deep cough and that cough just won't go away and you want to make an, a tea with that you can add some ginger with it with the tea and you can drink as much tea as you want you want to make sure that when you're using cat mint you don't use like like a little bit like that you want to use a handful like that so if you have a deep cough you want to use like a good handful like this every time you make tea and this will be good enough now when you use cat mint that is not dried it has a lot of water in it so you so um you use more of it because because it's not as potent but when you dry any herb it becomes more potent because all the water has evaporated from it and so um if you have a cold or a very deep chest cough it's good to use a good handful like I show you because you want as much potency as possible. Now, there's you don't have to worry about side effects with cat mint. Cat mint had been used for decades and it's a very, very mild herb to use. But if you want it to work really well, you have to use a little bit more of it. So... You see, I had a whole bunch of cat mint there, and it looked like it was a lot, but all stayed in this jar. And now all you gotta do is just close it up like this, and you can put your label on it. And there you go, you have your cat mint, and it's all ready for you to do whatever you wish to make with it. So that's what it is. Today, I wanna show you how to I show you how to make a how to use your cat mint not use it but cut it up and store it now I'm going to show you how to make some medicine with that right here I have a bottle of vodka and I'll be making an infusion with this vodka today and the reason for using vodka is vodka is going to get out all the value of the cat mint and this you can use as a cough medicine so i have my dried cat mint and i am going to take out about two maybe let's see one two 
maybe about four tablespoons and I'm using a really tiny jar because I don't want um, oops sorry I'm making quite a mess here guys but okay so you want to pack the jar in as much as you can right so I'm gonna pack my jar in as much as I can and I know some of you like measurement so I think we're up to about five six tablespoons this jar is about six tablespoons of herbs all right so the jar is filled to the top and so it's it's a very small jar and now you want to pour your vodka into the jar and you're gonna pour vodka over this until it is full to the top okay so this it's filled to the top and with a clean spoon you want to push it down so push it down like this and as you can see if you look to the top the vodka is all the way to the top you see my spoon here it's all the way to the top and that's what you want it how you want it to be now I also want to take a look at the color can you see that it's uh, the color is just the same it doesn't change it's just clear and you would know that this is ready when the color of the when the color of the vod the contents has changed to a greenish color so now that you uh, bottle is you put it in there all you have to do is leave it in this jar for four to six weeks and in four to six weeks the color is gonna change to a greenish color and then it's all done you can strain the herb out and then you have this as a cough medicine if you want it to be much stronger then you can strain it out and put some more cat mint in it and do a second infusion which is going to make it really really strong and uh, you can you're going to use a dropper bottle and you're going to pour it inside of it and you're going to want to be taking six drop just six drops twice a day if you have like a bad cold and you can add it to water so I'll show you a dropper bottle that you can use once your vodka infusion with your cat mint is ready you want to get a dropper bottle like this and you pour it in here and of course you put a label on it and you're gonna squeeze it take your and you want to use six drops of this and you can put it in water and drink it or you can just drink it straight and then just drink some water after because it's, it's pretty strong but you're going to have the flavor of the cat mint. So, and then you can drink that twice a day if you have a deep chest cough. And that's basically it. And this is a two ounce bottle. And um, just remember to label everything mm. because when you label things, you know exactly what's in it. So this is how you mm. make a cat mint deep chest cough syrup for coughs that are very very um you know, just persistent and they don't go away so yeah this is how you make it thanks for watching my video and i'll see you in the next one